Hi, I'm Shivam and I'll present our recent work, Topologically Aware Deformation Fields for Single View 3D Reconstruction. In this work, our goal is to leverage category-specific image collections and learn a reconstruction system which can not only model each object's 3D structure, but also learn dense 3D correspondences across different objects. At training time, our system doesn't require any form of dense supervision, be it dense 3D supervision or dense multi-view camera images. It learns only from unpaired single view image collections, corresponding segmentation masks, and camera poses. Once learned, our system can then reconstruct 3D geometry and model dense correspondences just from a single image at test time. Now let's first review the prior works. Recently, there has been remarkable progress in 3D reconstruction specially credited to the rise of neural implicit modeling. With advancement in differentiable rendering, we now have learning systems which can learn dense high fidelity 3D just from multi-view camera images. Furthermore, there has been remarkable progress in reducing the requirement of dense multi-view camera data from hundreds of images to just single view image collections. But these approaches generally optimize to one scene and do not provide an easy way to transfer 3D knowledge across different objects. And being at CMU, Takio asked us his favorite question, where are the correspondences? Thinking from a robotics perspective also, correspondences are very crucial to generalization. So how do we get these correspondences? The closest prior work to ours, which model both 3D geometry and correspondences, is the seminal CMR work. To generate an instance-specific shape, CMR deforms a category-specific mean mesh where both the deformations and the mean mesh are learned jointly. While CMR really works well on objects with limited deformations, being a mesh-based approach, it's not good on objects with larger articulations. More importantly, it's restricted to object categories with limited structural and topological variations. And we know real-world objects have lots of variations in them. So with the goal of fixing these issues and developing a system which can more model both 3D and correspondences for several different object categories, we begin by first simply replacing the mesh representation with the implicit representation. We start by taking an input RGB image and learn a one-dimensional latent embedding from it. We then take a 3D point in the normalized object space and pass it to our deformnet module. The deformnet module conditioned on the image latent maps the object space 3D points to the canonical space 3D points. The mapping between the object space and the canonical space points is based on a sign distance field driven functional mapping. Alongside learning the deformation field, we also learn an RGB color value for each 3D point. Furthermore, we use hyper networks to condition the deformnet and the sign distance field generator on the corresponding latent codes. To learn the 3D shape and the correspondence field jointly, we leverage a ray marching based differentiable rendering system to train our pipeline. More formally, the whole pipeline is trained using a multi-stage curriculum learning strategy where we first learn to directly reconstruct a 3D object from a given input image. In stage two, we bootstrap the learning of the deformation field using the already trained modules in stage one. Our training pipeline is guided by the following loss terms. We have an RGB loss term. We have an SDF loss term. We have a distance transform based SDF lower bound loss term. And we have a couple of regularization terms. So just by doing this, we are able to already get much better structures than the mesh based approaches. But there still seems to be a caveat. The learned geometry is still not structured enough. There are no holes modeled and the input and the reconstructed shapes have different topologies. But why is that? This is because of the inherent continuous nature of the MLPs used by the implicit approaches. Implicit approaches generally map a continuous point in the input domain using a continuous MLP to a continuous point in the output domain. By learning the deformation field implicitly, the deformation field has a strong tendency to continuously deform the 3D points. While this might work well for some cases, this might not always be the case. 
deformation across to two topologically distinct objects can never be continuous. So how can we fix this issue of continuous mapping from object space to the canonical space? To fix this issue, we take inspiration from the classical level set theory. Level set methods allow topological merging or breaking of geometrical structures by representing any shape or surface as a level set of a higher dimensional function. For example, consider the geometric structure shown in the gray color on the top. Such a geometry can be extracted out by cutting the higher dimensional red function using the blue plane. By simply moving the blue plane along different locations of the higher dimensional function, we can extract out geometries of arbitrary topologies. Inspired by the seminal level set theory, rather than only learning the deformations as the delta to the input points, we additionally learn some per point features. These point features further guide the canonical reconstruction network about the high frequency structural variations in the input geometry. The learned point features concatenated with the 3D point deformations together form a topologically aware deformation field. By learning a deformation field with the help of the point features, we can now recover final topological structures in our reconstructed geometry. So overall, our system can infer both the geometry and the correspondences implicitly. Using the learned correspondences, we can then perform tasks like texture transfer. I'll now showcase some visualizations of the reconstructed shapes, beginning with the CUBS dataset. As you see from row 1 and 2, unlike prior works, we can model varying object geometries and articulations considerably well. While not guaranteed to learn articulations, we notice that the proposed approach even model correspondences for highly articulated objects considerably well. Here are a few more examples. Compared to prior works, we can better model larger birds, handle articulations like bent, or rotated heads. Now let's review the results on the Pascal 3D chairs dataset. Unlike mesh based approaches, which completely fail on topologically challenging chairs category, implicit approaches can better model the geometry of the chairs. In comparison to SGF SRN, we additionally learn correspondences without any direct supervision. Thanks to the learned deformation field, our reconstructed shapes are much cleaner and have lesser artifacts. Let's review the results on the challenging Pix 3D chairs dataset. Even though the model is trained on the ShapeNet chairs category, it adapts well to the unseen real world examples. It is able to model arbitrary topologies considerably well and also learn the correspondences alongside. It adapts well to very different structures compared to those seen during training. To further highlight the generalization capacity of a learned system, we train only on the very small and challenging PIX 3D train set. As an obvious outcome of training on a smaller data set, we notice that the reconstructed shapes are noisier for all the approaches. Compared to SGF SRN, our deformation based approach can still model the geometry and the topological structures considerably well. Notice the reconstructed hole in the back of the chair. Here are a few examples of the reconstructed 3D planes. Even on the large synthetic ShapeNet dataset, we are able to match the fidelity standards of the state-of-the-art SDF-SRN approach, despite learning the correspondences alongside. Thanks to the deformation field, which acts as a regularizer, even on the ShapeNet category, the learned shapes are much smoother and clean, cleaner than the prior state-of-the-art SDF-SRN approach. Thanks. Please refer to our webpage for further details.